biggest challenge in the last 24 hours has been air quality. As firefighting crews continue to battle a number of wildfires burning through the Okanagan, smoke is thick and the Central Okanagan Air Quality Health Index is marked at very high risk. Firefighters are outside working in it relentlessly. They're breathing it for 12, 14, 16 hours at a time. So it is a real challenge. Someone told me today that our air quality here is the worst in the world. Despite a number of their staff being evacuated themselves, Kelowna Gospel Mission continues to work hard, providing people living outside with protection from smoke. Every day we're providing food, basic uh, things like clothing, uh, water, coffee, harm reduction supplies, and we've added to that masks. Uh, in the past few days. So it's been really great. We had some still in storage from the pandemic. Um, and also just this morning, we heard from the health authority working with the city of Kelowna. So we've actually made N95 masks available to all the different outreach groups. So we're making sure that people who are outside and can't escape this smoke right now are equipped with those masks. We're really concerned about the health effects that it might have on people in prolonged exposure to the smoke. We were over at the outdoor sheltering site and handing out masks to people there. And there we're very grateful to have them. Uh, we're also handing out throat lozenges for people as uh, as it can get really sore. Uh, and that's what we heard from people is where can we go inside? Uh, the H2O and uh, Parkinson Rec Center and the library are public spaces that are open for people who are sheltering outside. That's a place where they can come in for some refuge from the smoke. Under these current air quality conditions, the government of Canada says the general population should reduce or reschedule strenuous outdoor activities, while the at-risk population should avoid outdoor activities altogether. I'm Braden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.